It's our DNA. We're just different. We push status quo, even though we're a bit larger now, we're still the same family, even better, even stronger. And it's all about our people, which we love, and that's, that is our business. We started 1991, it was a recession. I was uh, finishing university and uh, um, George was a carpenter. My parents had a small domestic building business and, um, and we had to go to work because uh, things were very tough actually. And uh, we started a little building business out of uh, my parents' garage. My father, uh, with his wisdom, it seems crazy actually even pushed us to do this, but to design and build a spec home. The family just stuck together and helped build it. My sister came, my brothers came, my mum came, my uncles came. Uh, Michael ended up then getting more involved and bringing so much that was needed to, uh, to us as a business to try to start this business in the most difficult times. And then kept employing good people and today we're still doing the same thing that are making us grow and, and becoming who we are today. You know, what we now have is, is you know, really a, it's like a community or a family that, that does share values and you know, shares a common goal and a common vision. And that's what I get the greatest joy out of. Um, projects are just projects, right? But the people give us a great deal of joy. We head down a path that's our own path. It's what we have always called the Hickory Way. And that's with culture, with building relationships, with being innovative, with, you know, creating our own destiny and journey, with advancing into our own structure business, our own facade business, and just learning. And, and there's been a lot of learnings and why we are where we are today. I mean, Hickory's a predominantly a construction business. So we stand for delivering great quality buildings to our customers. But I think the layers that lead to that um, are a whole lot more and they're a lot less about our buildings than they are our people and our culture and what coming to work at Hickory every day means. There's two elements to construction and being with Hickory. It's one is what we do. You know, our jobs are all different in their own way, but it's also the people, you know, like we make friendships along the way. And just to see Hickory grow as a company, not only in the field of construction, but also in the field of professionalism and innovation, I suppose, too. What I love about Hickory is everyone knows your name. It's a family. They spent a lot of time educating us you know, growing us, it's, um, it's a big passion of mine and they've always included us in, in everything that they've done and they believe in us and that's probably the biggest thing, having someone believe in you. We're always asking of our people, what's next for you? You know, what's your next version, what's the next version of yourself? How do you grow as an individual? I think it's a healthy attitude uh, that, uh, that creates a high performing team that always have something to look forward to and strive to. And most people have that sense of they're growing as individuals. Been with Hickory 14 years now and yeah, couldn't think of where I'd be elsewise. Love what I do and met a lot of people through Hickory and created a lot of good friends. Every job has its challenges and yeah, logistics wise. And it's the part that I love, the logistics and I love the role I'm in now. Just, yeah, doing all the excavations, getting the jobs out of the ground and get to play with all the machineries and the excavators and cranes and, yeah, sort of fell into that role and I love it. I started pushing a broom. I went on to do a couple of jobs for Hickory in high rises, uh, start off in a small apartment block and then from then on we, we're, out, we're, out, we're here today with nine trucks and control them help control this part of the yard. 23 years with them and come up to 24. That passion, give me that passion to come here every day and achieve my goals. The key moment was when um, directors um, appointed me a side manager on uh, one of the biggest uh, projects that we've ever done, which is uh, Fulton Lane in uh, CBD. That was very, very challenging, but um, we succeeded, we delivered the project, and I'm very, very proud of um, the opportunity um, and the trust that they've given me to um, run their projects to this day. 
I really enjoyed Ilk Apartments in uh, South Yarra. That was really challenging with the demolition and substation relocations and it was a, the biggest job I'd ever worked on at the time. So yeah, that one stands out for me. Claremont Manor was probably the favourite. It was a project where nothing went wrong. Everywhere, everything went smoothly. <laughs> Great team. Um, and most of that team have gone on to bigger and better things, you know, they've been promoted. So it was a, just a really talented team. Everyone worked together. Still to this day was uh, Vogue uh, Apartments in South Yarra, where I think all the moons aligned on that project. Uh, everyone had the same passion, motivation, enthusiasm to try and get that project, um, you know, over the line. It was, it was one of our biggest jobs at the time. Um, and that was a project that uh, I made lifelong friends. So that's to this day is, you know, the most memorable. We'll see that uh, technology that we've invented um, and our DNA of how to, how to build buildings being transferred across the globe. We're doing it in London now with MACE. Um, I think we'll do it in other regions around the world because it's going to make a difference. I think that's the only way we're going to get to net zero carbon is really important to us as a business and I think we've got the answer to it and I think we'll get there uh, in the timelines that we need to. We're very forward facing. We, we'd like to know or explore what's next. What's the next possibility? It's more about exploring the next possibility within ourselves as much as it is for our business. If I want to talk about what really excites me about Hickory's future, it's all the seeds that we've sown and that we continuously nurture that are going to make us the best building business in the very near future.